Hello, this is a very good response to Movie Who Mania, the top 10 movies that make me cry. And I think I did this song, so I'm going to start over. <laughs> but, um, number 10 is Beautiful Girls. And the part with the makes me cry, it's kind of weird and kind of random, but Michael Rappaport, um, his character is dating Martha Plimpton's character. They dated for like seven years or so, a long time. And then she leaves him for some other one, other guy, because Michael's character kind of takes it for granted a little bit after a while. And, um, he, like, he's a snow plower, and he, uh, piles snow in front of her garage every day to make it harder for her to get a car to the garage. But she gets, she gets out and all of her, but she, um, not out by the garage, but, you know. <laughs> But, uh, she has to, like, walk, I guess, to work every day because she can't get her car out. Because this way, yeah, it's a trick move, but whatever. And then at the end, I've seen this a lot, and for some reason, I always forget what changed in him, what, why he suddenly changes his his opinion, his mind. But he goes to her house in the snowplower, and he's crying, and he's just, like, he... Uh, me moves the snow into her garage and I guess it gets to me just because of the gesture of it like he was holding on to her and he was like I'm gonna get her back and he's obsessing about it and obsessing about her and then at the end of it he just like realizes he has to let her go and it's just heartbreak it's like heartbreaking and touching and oh anyway number nine is up and it's the opening sequence of up in the end, like not the end end, but you know when Pearl finds Ellie's book. <sighs> um, number eight is um, My Neighbor Totoro, and um, in this movie, uh, Sasuke, she's twelve years old. I think she's. 12. I don't know if they're for old, but I'm gonna say she's twelve. Um, her mom is in the um hospital and her sister's five and her dad always working and so Suki's kind of taken the role of like the adult and same with sure her dad is like eating and she takes care of her sister and she takes care of everybody around her and the thing is she is so young she's 12 years old and she's carrying all this like inside like all this um heartbreak and it's just at one point, some point in the movie, she just breaks down. There's an older woman that helped take care of her named Nana. And she just breaks down in front of her. I just, like, it's just so, like, heartbreaking. Because this girl, she's, like, always trying to be happy and positive and for her sister. And it just gets too much. And she can't handle it anymore. And I just, like, she just completely breaks down. Because their mom was supposed to come home for a week. In the hospital and they call and say that she got sick and she couldn't go back she couldn't go home that week and then Sasuke just oh. anyway okay uh seven is little woman and it's still with Beth I won't know that any more than that um number six is that before time dealing with little Fitz's mom and that whole thing is just awful. It's so sad. Five is on Golden Pond. This is one of the most beautiful films I've ever made. I'm just saying. It is it's just wonderful. But Catherine Hepburn and Henry Fonda play a husband and wife. And Henry Fonda is uh, developing Alzheimer's. And I think it's the first movie to actually address Alzheimer's. I'm not sure, but I think it is. Um, it's not the first one of the first. Where it's like they talk about Alzheimer's. We don't really get into it too much, but he had Alzheimer's. He had developing Alzheimer's. And he has heart problems and all this kind of stuff. Um, but there's a part where, like, she asks him to go get strawberries. Or Catherine Hepburn asks him to get strawberries and he gets lost. And he comes home and he's all upset. And, and um, 
she tells him that she his, she his he is her knight in shining armor and it's just like very sweet moment and then the end also he has a heart attack and it's just like uh, and this is Henry Fauna's last movie too. One of the last, if not, yeah, I think yeah, his last movie. But he does like a TV movie thing, um, little cameo thing. But yeah, one movie, his last movie, and so it just gets to me that much more because it's his last. Um, but and he had a heart attack in real life, so yeah, gets to me. Um. Four is my girl. <laughs> my girl is another one that's just like absolutely perfect in every single way, and it just completely destroys me every time. I'm not gonna say why, cause it's kind of a big deal, and you don't, and you have to kind of see it to get the full effect of it, but, uh, it's really sad. Um, number three is a walk to remember. I don't cry on the notebook. That one doesn't make me cry, but walk to remember, a oh, huge mess, huge, huge mess. And it's based on Nicholas Sparks' sister, and Landon is based on her husband, so there you go. <laughs> um, number two is... Rent. If you know Rent, you know why. <laughs> because of Angel, and that's all I'm gonna say. Um, and The Saint of Fort Washington is number one. This is a movie that not a lot of people would know, I don't think, but it's one of the very best. Uh, Matt Dillon and Danny Glover were great together, and I think honestly, it is one of Matt Dillon's best films ever. It's just so well done, and um, I'm not going to say why either, because <laughs> you know a lot of these, I think you can figure out why I'm not telling you things, but it's like you have to see the build up to things, I think, a little, and then it like gets to you, um, and it's what this one does, it's just like this build up keeps happening, and it's just like, <sighs> But anyways, like it's Matt and Danny Glover and the police homeless people on the shelter in Washington, the Fort Washington um, shelter, the homeless, and Matt has such a funny uh, Matt Dillon character, and just one of the most beautiful movies ever, and you need to watch it. <laughs> it was not available on DVD when I watched it online, and then like it got available like that year, so here you go, yay! <laughs> So, yeah, um, get it, watch it, love it, and that's all. So, goodbye. Mm.